Thanks for rolling up to Blum Ruddy. I don't know what the fuck. Where the fuck this nigga got this thing from, bro? bro? This is smoking, bro. Yeah, this is smoking, bro. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see what we got for the day, bro. The Bahamas will soon have a legislation for the legalization of some use of marijuana in the country. This from Prime Minister Philip Davis. The issue of marijuana, the legalization of marijuana, what aspects of it will be legalized is under active consideration by my administration. We would have noted in our blueprint for change that we did acknowledge that medicinal use of marijuana is acceptable to us. Uh, it's just a question of whether we're going to move as far as recreational marijuana. Davis was speaking. Okay, so hold on. The Bahamas is getting ready to uh try to go wreck? Um I know those Caribbeans is like it's like it's like four twenty friendly, but I don't think most of them are like actually like legal. So the Bahamas go actually legal, bro. They may be the first ones in the Caribbean to do do this shit. I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know if Jamaica is actually illegal or if they just like turn the blind eye over there and shit. Speaking at the Meet the Policymakers lecture series at the University of the Bahamas on Tuesday and was responding to a question about the government's national development plan and where marijuana investments fit in. Earlier this year, Minister of Agriculture, Marine Resources and Family Island Affairs, Clay Sweeting, had indicated that the family islands in the Bahamas would be ideal for supporting the cannabis industry once legalized. During Tuesday's lecture series, Davis presented a thorough outline of his administration national plan and areas of focus. One area of focus was education, which he said was the path to empowerment and prosperity. I spoke earlier about the deprivation of education as an instrument of oppression. But a more positive way to say that is that education is the path to empowerment and prosperity. All right, so let's just let's, let's, let's jump in. Um, all right, so, so the Bahamas. Are they are they are they re revamping the whole the whole system trying to refocus refocus some shit? Well, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Um, for real, especially when you when you think about progress and uh shit like that. Like America needs some revamping and readjusting, especially when it comes to drug policy, bro. Federally, bro, they need to revamp and readjust. He also noted that his administration's approach to education gives Bahamians the opportunity to take advantage of the orange, blue, and green economies. This has been true of my own personal journey and that of countless others. What is distinctive about our approach? What is distinctive about our approach? Well, we will educate not just for the broad curriculum, but also to ensure that Bahamians can take advantage of the opportunities we are seeking to stimulate in the orange, green, and blue economies. All right, I'm with that. I'm with that. The Bahamo might be going wreck. Be the first. Be the first island in the Caribbean to actually do so. Uh, at least, at least I think so. Like that's probably wrong as fuck. Not nah, I me, mean, but but it might be. <laughs> they do. Yeah, I mean it's already. Uh, Tourist destin <coughs> destination. <coughs> this is gonna make it <coughs> just more of a tourist spot when they go wreck and shit. I know, I know, I know. I should put that shit further up on the list for me to for me to hit it up. 